What's going on guys, Tommy and Amazing here back with another video and in today's video guys I'm going to be doing the showcase for the Kuronai support and the Kuronai weapon and also I guess like the outfit showcase too just to show you guys like what it looks like um, but in this video I'm going to be going over what her weapon does and what her supporter does and why this is one of the best um, you know all around like kits that uh, you know uh, Little Games has actually uh, helped in Gremory. Um, if we actually look at the Dane Sleeve here, this is going to be uh, Kuronai's exclusive weapon here, and uh, this is what it's going to do. So on the passive, uh, on the place where Guild Slash passes through the, uh, pa is passed through, the wind rages and deals 50% damage and reduces enemy movement speed by 10% for 10 seconds. The active skill conjures a gust of wind that automatically deals 50% damage to the nearby enemies for 10 seconds. So the Dane Sleeve is a f very good weapon, like... Um, if you guys use Gale Slash with this, and I'll show you guys in the video, um, it does become a really, really powerful weapon, man. And I'm so mad I did not get dupes on this thing because it is really, really good. Um, so the next thing uh, on the list is going to be the supporter here. So the supporter, the Armored Shinganji Kurenai. Um, for the passive here, it's going to reduce the duration of all debuffs on oneself by 12.5%. Each critical hit deals an additional 25% of the damage and a stun attack applied every 5 seconds. So that's going to be really good right there. And Kurenai is a red supporter, by the way, so she's going to work really well um, with the Gale Slash build that her weapon really wants you to run. Because um, her weapon is uh, telling you that, you know, if you run Gale Slash, um, you're going to get, uh, you know, it's going to deal a bunch of, like, wind and deal 50% damage, right? Um, so that's going to be really good. And it's kind of forcing you to, to run a red build on Kurenai, which is not bad because red build Kurenai is very cracked out. Um, let me switch to uh, Storm Fang here. But yeah, this is the build I like to run on Kuronai. If you don't have uh, the fourth slot here, literally just disregard this fourth slot and run these three right here. Uh, dual build style, God's Eye, and Gale Slash can kind of get the job done for you, especially if you're just clearing like uh, trash mobs, right? Um, but yeah, it, that, that's why uh, running this uh, supporter is gonna warrant you running a full red build. Um, for the you know the passive here and the active ability vanishes for two seconds when a protect type character gets attacked, um, evading all attacks and damage applies every ten seconds when the character gets hit and flinches. Only supporter skills will work during this effect. So basically, because Kuronai is a support type character, right? Like if we go to her kit, she or a protect type character, I should say, because she is blue and any other blue character that uses this so sakura i think is blue um who else is blue here i think no murasaki's red uh what's some other blue character? i know Renko might be no Renko's assist okay um i know tokiko's green astroth is red sue yeah like you could run it okay so basically any character that is the protect typing right if you go to the character and this is what it says and it says protect you're going to be able to abuse this coronai uh, active ability where you vanish for two seconds um right when you're getting attacked and then you get to evade all attacks and damage for two seconds and applies every 10 seconds just like just a passive you know what i mean that's the, that's just a given for your character and then for the active ability it's going to form a tornado that deals 900 percent of damage to all enemies and knocks them up into the air and increases speed by 10 percent for 10 seconds this supporter is one of the best supporters in the game man and it it actually shows like when you're using this like if i had this supporter when i was doing my initial tower run with coronai i think red build coronai would have been the way um honestly because uh the the way that her her supporter works it just makes you so you can like evade attacks when you get hit the moment you get hit every 10 seconds you go invisible you dodge you get out of the way you get your god's eye proc again and then you just go crazy so in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys like both the weapon and supporter build and uh, also showcasing her outfit as well to kind of show you guys how powerful it can be this is the build i'm going to be running here so i'm going to be running homura as well to increase damage dealt to all enemies by 30 percent and this is a uh, sr you know uh, supporter right here everyone can uh, acquire that and then i also have lydia Breda, which i pulled fairly recently and i have it at two out of five because it's going to increase damage dealt to all enemies by 12.5 percent and increases my critical damage of all attacks by 18.8 percent um and lydia Breda is going to be a general pull uh you are supporter as well so you know this is the build i'm going to be running and then uh, as you guys know this is the setup i'm running as well again if you do not have the fourth slot here disregard storm fang you don't really need it i kind of just have it there as just like a you know if i'm running away from an enemy i can just drop storm fang and then i can you know run away for a little bit it's kind of just like a, a crowd control type of ability there um but you don't really need it you only really need these three things right here and then uh, yeah for the costumes i have every costume in the game except uh, her new year's one so i have her half vampire or for halloween i have her you know black cat i have the dress shirt um all of this stuff i have for uh, Kornai here and we're gonna be running this outfit um for the video as well so we'll we'll do a few testing 
Yeah, forgot to show my Magatamas. Here is what I'm ro uh, rocking here on Kurenai. Not the perfect build, right? Not the perfect build. It's definitely a good build, though. Uh, but we're running all crit damage and damage dealt rolls. Because uh, whatever, like, you know, I didn't get crit damage for, I have damage dealt. So we're just running crit damage, crit damage, you know, like, everything crit damage. And the reason we're running crit damage on Kurenai is because when you proc God's Eye with her ability here, um, this one right here, it's going to increase speed by 20% uh, while activated. And then it also increases your critical uh, crit rate for uh, six seconds and it, at that point when you increase your crit rate on core Knight and she already has like this much crit like 11k crit bro she's guaranteed critting guaranteed man like it's actually so stupid so yeah we're running that and then my sub weapon is going to be the five out of five pvp weapon we got the viridian and then we also have just you know uh it doesn't really matter that these are all damaged out because these sub rolls don't matter but it's just a full set of uh, bravery maga thomas so yeah, let's hop in now that i've showed you guys like my whole build and uh, i didn't forget anything let's hop in now and uh we'll showcase corona and see how powerful she can be man um she's really really good bro um you guys will be able to see Degaza? okay let's see look at that 51k by the way and then there we go that's the that's the gale slash ability when you do her weapon ability right there you see that like little effect uh, that comes after that's kind of what you're gonna go for when you do gale slash like that a little effect after um it's gonna do 50 percent of the damage that you do and i just did 100k there by the way without god's eye yep there we go and then if we proc god's eye here like if i get if i dodge a hit let's see there we go Look at that, like guaranteed crits, man. So good, so good. Like, and then you get the speed boost as well because you're running full red build. 90, 96k right there, right? Like, it's just so crazy how stupid Kurenai is now, man. She's so stupid. And she has healing with Gale Slash. She has the ability to just keep spamming Gale Slash if you get her combos down. Um, the only thing that, like, Kurenai, I think, requires is just you knowing when to use Gale Slash. Because if you're able to proc this, like, consistently... Oh, and that's her supporter ability, by the way, when you go invisible. But uh, if you're able to proc Gale Slash often, like this... Then you can just easily just spam heals and you won't really need to worry like look at that all completely done without any um supporter abilities and mainly just like my weapon there right like it, that, that she's so insane ah she's so stupid so um that's gonna be her on hard daily quest no struggle at all really you know uh because she has the consistent healing from uh gale slash and just like how she's killing everything like instantly you know so she's she's just not having a worry and if we go to time attack here Let's do time attack uh, chapter 3 on hard because this is usually the stage people like to run as you, you guys already see I already have a run but uh, <laughs> she, she's stupid she's stupid right like she, she's so good and like I think because of this supporter I don't know if I would give Kurenai the S ranking but she's definitely like A tier she's definitely still like top of A tier man because she's cracked um because she's able to just like look at that 47k on the first hit there right like that, that that's kind of stupid like 47k first hit and then when i proc god's eye i'm guaranteed critting 99k on the last hit and then look how fast i'm swinging look how fast this is it's so crazy man it's so crazy if you guys were like actually like contemplating getting core Knight, now's the time to get her man because she is just so stupid um she's able to clear basically any content in the game at this point i think and uh she won't really have issues i think also in uh look at that invisible bop and i could go like this and like what you can do as well is if you go invisible like that like oh my god it's one bang like all those enemies there yo holy the gill slash went crazy um if you like let, let's say i get hit right if i get hit and i go invisible i use my supporter ability boom they all just die look at that man like it's so good you can change supporter abilities in the midst of using the supporter which is so good it's so good man I don't know, Kuro Knight is easily, like, because she's been my favorite character, and I'm so glad that uh, we got a good update for her with, like, a, a good supporter and weapon, because this really makes her, like, up there in the, in the rankings of how good a character can be, because um, she's just able to do dish out so much damage, she has consistent healing with Gale Slash, right, um, and the, the effect on her supporter and her weapon makes it so you have sustainability with your invisibility, because you can dodge, you can proc your supporter ability if you need the, the damage on the enemy, like, while you're invisible, um, and you can just, uh, you know, you get that a little extra damage as well on Gale Slash, which can help you, uh, you know, go uh, get the damage you need. Um, so I think overall, Kurenai, after getting this supporter and weapon, she is one of the, probably one of the best characters in the game, man. She is so stupid. Um, I don't know if I would give her the S tier because she does require all these, uh, you know, all this setup to do this well, while other characters don't really need that much setup, right? Um, but she is like one of those characters that can definitely, uh, you know, use it, right? 
Um, and when you get like the correct setup on her, she is gonna be so stupid. Like, and I don't even have max crit damage rolls on all my pieces, right? And she's just hitting super hard. She's hitting super hard. So you guys can kind of see how how good she can be, man. And I got about the same time as I did last time. That's crazy. Um, about the same time. Yeah, and then we'll do another. We'll do another stage here too. I think I'll do. Uh, we'll do the event stage, and I'll also do um just for just to show you guys another stage as well. We'll do the um i forgot what it's called prologue stages we'll do prologue stages as well so we'll do this as well oh my inventory is full okay i'll just expand it just for the video just so you guys can uh okay sick expand it again please and thank you okay sick expand it again tech w there you go okay <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure we get in there because uh, i didn't want to like delay yeah so this one we just like we killed like a few enemies here oh let's get out of the way Oh, invisible. He doesn't see me. Bop. Dead. Look at that. Easy clap, man. Corona is just so stupid. We have to fight Obro here. So let me get God's Eye and I'll show you guys the damage we can get. The damage potential. Look at that. And we stunned her too. And we proc support her ability while I'm invisible. And we can just go crazy like this. Yell slash and she's dead. Look, look, look how straight. Look how quick that was. That's event stage on the hardest stage, man. The moment I proc God's Eye, I just do the full combo, get the Gale Slash off, and Obro's dead. Instantly, man. So good. So good. Like, if you guys were um, contemplating not getting this weapon in Supporter, it's definitely a Kuranai must-have. If you play Kuranai and you want to use this character um, effectively um, on a red build for sure, you definitely want to get her Supporter and her weapon, man. I highly recommend it, guys. Like, it's so good. And, uh, you know, definitely, I'm so glad that, uh, you know... <laughs> Action Time didn't release such a good supporter and weapon for Kurnai. She she didn't need it because she was already really good, right? Uh, but it's definitely just a nice plus to have, right? It's, it really is. So we'll do hard and we'll do, I think, the hardest one, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this, though. But uh, I think we'll beat it. Uh, I think we'll beat it. We'll be fine. Uh, Kurnai's cracked out, bro. <laughs> she is so stupid. The amount of healing she gets and then when she goes invisible as well. We can, we can chain the invisibility with her supporter active, by the way. That's kind of what you want to do when you're using this. So let me get let me get God's eye real quick. Let's get a dodge. Come on. Attack, attack. There we go. Look how much damage that is. Dead. 98k, bro. 98k crit. 40 40k crit. Oh, I messed up yellow slash there. Let's see. Can I get it off? Oh, invisible. Pull up. Bop. Look at that, bro. And the invisibility is so nice when you get hit and you just go invisible. It's so good. So good. There we go. We're doing some pretty good damage. 31k. We got hit. Can't see me. Bop, bop from behind. Dead from me. Hit. Look, look how far Gil Slash reaches, too. Such a good ability, man. So good. You get the uh, God's Eye proc. Hits him right there. And look at that, bro. They all just died. They can't do anything, bro. It's so good. I actually just cracked out. And we got Sakura here. Can we get the we got Sakura and Asagi here. Let's get God's Eye. Let's do that. And we proc them with that. And then and then I guess I'll drop ultimate this stage too. I guess after I kill Asagi. Look, look Asagi's dead. I actually wait. I could probably beat this with no ultimate. Let me just get the dodge. Let me get the dodge again. Let me get uh. There we go. Let me go invisible. Bop. Look at all the crits, man. Look at the crits. Look at the crits. Sakura's dead. Look how stupid Kuranai is, man. Actually, like, I'm, I'm just all, like, baffled on how good she is because of this, like, like build. It's so good. And uh, I highly recommend you guys give uh, full red build Kuranai a try. She's really fun. And, uh, you know, I never, uh, the entire time I was showcasing her, by the way, I did not use Stormfang once. So that just goes to show, like, with this build, you can basically clear all content in the game. I'm, I'm thinking, like, if you were to try, like, uh, not Arena, but I think if you were to try Tower with this build, it would be fairly helpful on, like, Floor 49, per se, because, like, during Floor 49, when you're getting attacked by, like, you know, Yukikaze and all the enemies, when you go invisible for that two seconds, you can proc your supporter ability, get some good damage off, and then apply Gale Slash again to kind of get your healing, and, uh, you know, you get God's Eye. It's just such a consistent way of Kornai doing damage and healing as well that she, she's just such a good character, man, so... Um, that's going to be my showcase of the Kornai weapon and supporter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys going to be picking up Kornai's uh, outfit as well because of how nice it looks? Because um, if you guys don't know, um, 
this is what you can do you can get the original hair with her you can get the new hair you can change the color of the outfit which i like this red and black one too i wish they would let you change your weapon color to match it but uh, unfortunately they don't have that at the moment but uh yeah it you know this is definitely her best outfit too probably one of her best like i think her, her vampire one's up there but uh, this one's definitely one of her best but yeah man she's so sick and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next action time in video peace out and have a great rest of your day